welcome you to the Carolina Ford Dealers pregame show here on the Aggie Sports Radio Network. Saturday night lights at Truist Stadium as the North Carolina a and Aggies get set to gear up for their home opener of the 2022 season against the South Carolina State Bulldogs. This game's officially underway as North Carolina A&T takes the opening kickoff, past the 25, over to the 30, now over to the 35, closer to the 40, finally knocked down. Great opening kickoff return there for the Aggies to set up wonderful field position. First and 10 for South Carolina State. Bulldogs led by quarterback Corey Fields. First play of the game, Fields will throw it over to his left side, and it is caught for a first down and more by Shaq Davis. South Carolina State offense lined up at the Aggies 20. Trying to open up this game with some points on the board. Fields, he throws and is caught in the end zone for a South Carolina State touchdown. Rakeem White's got it, and the Bulldogs quickly off to a hot start. North Carolina A&T hoping to get into a rhythm here in this offensive possession after receiving the opening toss. Here's Jaeger, he'll keep it with the option. And he gets whacked. His helmet comes off. Hard hit, and we are going to get a flag on the play. Eli Brickhandler is quarterback right now for the Aggies. He's immediately pressured, now rolls over to his left, escapes the pressure. Flag thrown on the play. Brickhandler will throw it over to his left side. It's caught for a pick of about six. We'll see what the flag is. But Brickhandler was immediately pressured as soon as he took that snap. Second and nine now for the Aggies from South Carolina State 49. Quick pass over to the right side. It is caught. And it is taken near the 40. That's Jamison Warren. Last year against South Carolina State, had two catches for 17 yards. And doing some good things again here against the Bulldogs. It's Andrew Brown's first miss of the season, but still was a great attempt. Quick throw and first down, but it's a tackle for a loss. The Aggies' defense was ready on that play. These are the plays where if you're North Carolina A&T, you've got to be able to make stops here. Force a three and out. Here comes the snap. Fields out of the shotgun. He's going to throw deep, and he overthrows his target. Wow, he was looking for Shaq Davis, who was wide open and potentially would have had six had he made that catch on target. Fowler's fake pass, handoff option, and now gives it over to Graves. Graves is on the move near the 50, pushing towards the 45. So another first and 10 coming up for the Aggies. Tootin is next to Fowler in the backfield. And the snap will go straight to Tootin. He's got some open space. He'll juke his way into yeah. the end zone for an Aggies touchdown. So let's see what Amante Jones can do this time. Last punt return he had, he took it to the house only to find out it was a flag. That punt was nearly blocked by the Aggies. Amante Jones looks like he is going to, oh, he bobbled the punt. Fumble, ball is loose, and South Carolina State has it. Monte Jones looked like he was just eager to get another punt return going after what happened last time, and just a little too risky on that play. Yep. Bobbled it, fumbled it, and South Carolina State able to recover first and 10 from the A&T 16, and they are going to get nothing on this first play. The Aggies' defense was ready stomping them right away, and it'll be the listed punter on the roster, Dyson Roberts, taking this field goal for South Carolina State instead of the usual kicker, Gavin Zimmerman. Here comes a field goal from Roberts. It is up. And it is no good. It was third and seven, then it became third and 11. Now it's third and 16 for South Carolina State. As Fields takes a snap, looks at his right side, is gonna throw a deep pass, attended Ooh. for Shaq Davis. And we are gonna get a flag. A flag is gonna be assessed. It looks like it's gonna be potentially pass interference. Aggies defense not happy about that. Hope you don't see that yellow marker be thrown out into the field. Here comes a snap. Fields is going to go deep passes. Easily caught by Shaq Davis. Breaks the tackle, and he's got open space. Davis takes it over to the 20, inside the 10, and he's finally knocked out of bounds near the 5. Big play there for South Carolina State. Davis, he's the one that made the big catch to set up South Carolina State red zone opportunity, and they've wow. got themselves a touchdown. South Carolina State's going to get it. It's Richard Bailey. Aggies trying to keep their possession alive and pick up a first down here on this play. Fowler's going to hand it off to Tootin, and Tootin's spinning, and he's winning. He's still on the move. He will not go down just yet as he takes it past the 20 near the 15. How about that, Bashul Tootin starting to give North Carolina A&T some life on the offensive end. The Aggies have now entered the Zaxby's red zone. Visit Zaxby's and Pyramids Village today for the Aggies tailgate special. A&T trying to get on the board one more time before halftime. Fowler's going to flip this pass over to Tootin. Tootin's on the move. Is he going to take this yes. one in for six? Flipping his way into the end zone in style. Touchdown, Aggies. Jalen Fowler still in quarterback for the Aggies. He didn't start this game. Zach Yeager started it. And then early in his first possession, 
took a hard hit, helmet came off, had to leave the game. Eli Brickhandler, the freshman, came in, then he got hurt. And now Jalen Fowler coming in this game originally has a third string now, leading the charge. And here Tootin. comes Bashul Tootin, first offensive play in the second half for the Aggies. is going to be a touchdown. Bashul Tootin with the need for speed. Six points for A&T. Aggies trying to force another three and out. 12.40 remaining here in the third quarter. South Carolina State will keep it on the ground, Nothing. and they are stuffed. The Aggies say, hey, South Carolina State, you guys are not going anywhere. Fowler out of the shotgun. Pass play, Fowler in the pocket. He's going to take a shot deep, and it is hold in. How about that? North Carolina A&T has now set themselves up for first and goal off the beautiful throw from Jalen Fowler. 8.52 remaining in the third quarter. A&T leading South Carolina State 31 to 13. Here's Field stepping back, throwing deep, and the pass is caught for a touchdown. That Davis guy. Shaq Davis. Shaq Davis. The Aggies just need about 10 yards to get into the end zone. Fowler's going to throw. Pass yes. is caught for an Aggies touchdown. Jakari Caldwell making the catch for six points, and the Aggies now lead the Bulldogs by 17. Fields now under center, throwing passes tipped, and it is hold in for an interception. How about that? That's one way to start off a fourth quarter defensively if you're A&T. Taekwon King coming up with the INT for North Carolina A&T. Second and 10, Fields takes a snap, surveying the field, throws right through the middle, pass is tipped and intercepted! The Aggies have it! A second interception of the game, that's Avrion Cole getting the interception there for North Carolina A&T. And it is over, the North Carolina A&T Aggies have secured their first victory of the 2022 season over the South Carolina State Bulldogs by a final score of 41 to 27.